Hey guys, it's Joanne from Jojo Stuff 6 on YouTube and I'm here today to talk about the books I've been reading. So, um, as I've said before, I can't, uh, it's hard for me to read regular print books because, you know, I'm visually impaired. So I either get my books from the library or Talking Books for the Blind or Audible.com. So the books that I'm going to talk about today from the library or Audible.com. The first book is The Maze Runner, and I'm on disc number seven, and there are nine discs to the book. It's about this guy named Thomas who wakes up in a box with all these people's hands trying to pull him out. He has no memory of his past, or his parents, or life, anything like that. Um, and he wakes up in the glade with these boys ages 11 to 18 I think and outside the glade there's this big maze and it's huge and the goal is to try to they want to try to find their way out of the maze because you know this, this girl I'm not to tell you the whole story but this girl came and things started changing so they really have to get out of there so I really enjoy this book the next books are from audible.com and let's see the first book I'm going to talk to you about is um, Stray by Rochelle Vincent. And I really like this book. It's about um, this were cat. I forget her name. I know it's bad. And she, um, she is going to college. Her father said she can go to college. But uh, anyway, these stray cats are kidnapping all the were female cats and there's not a lot of them so she has to go back home to her father and she's not really excited about doing that but um so that's a really good book I give that like five stars it's really good and the next book I've been reading is um Kitty let's see Kitty Takes a Holiday and that's by um Carrie Vaughn. This is the third book in the series. The first book in the series is Kid, Kitty and the Midnight Hour. And what this book is about, it's a pretty much about um, this cat, a uh, cat, cheese, this werewolf, and she um, she owns her, she has her own radio talk show called The Midnight Hour where she talks about uh, other like vampires and stuff like that. And it's just about her trials and stuff like that, you know, on she was in a pack and stuff. So anyway, I don't want to give a lot away, but that's a pretty good book, too. My guide dog trainer recommended that for me to try to get me to be more of a pack leader. I don't know if it worked out, but... This next book I've been reading is, um... It's a really great book. I read it twice. It's called, um, The Next Always by Nora Roberts. And it's about these three brothers, and they're building a hotel and um, re renovating it. It was really an old, like, broken-down building. And um, the I think it's the youngest brother, and he meets this girl named Claire. Um, and it's just about their, you know, romance, how they get together and stuff like that. And then the next book, um, well, the book I'm reading right now, actually, is... Grave Dance by, what is it, Yolanda Price. That is the second book in the series. First book is called Grave Witch, and I just started it today, and I haven't read the last book for like five months, so I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's about this witch named Alexis, and um, she kind of can take people's shades out of their body, I guess that's like, a ghost or what they last remembered and so she's helping the police solve some crimes it's a, it's a pretty good book I mean it's not one of my tops but this next book is my actual top um, a perf what is it I'm sorry duh a perfect blood by Kim Harrison she's my absolute favorite author of all time um, this is, I think, the tenth book in the series. And this book, um, what the books are about is this witch named Rachel. She has a roommate named Ivy and another roommate named Jinx. Ivy's a half vampire and Jinx is a pixie. And it's just about, you know, Rachel gets in trouble and her 
friends have to try to help her and she tries to help herself but you know she ends up making a lot of mistakes and I really really enjoy this book if you don't try any other book that I recommend I try I recommend Kim Harrison the first book in the series is Dead Witch Walking by Kim Harrison Let's see the next book or the last book that I have here is um, Bitten the Woman of the Other World series by Kelly uh, by Kelly Armstrong. This is book six. And what she writes about is she writes about in her books about how uh, witches and werewolves, women, uh, you know, vampires, there's a necromancer. I think there's a half demon coming up in the series. But you know, she writes how they interact with the world of, you know, where where they come from and stuff like that and then get to know a character and then it goes on to a new character but then she never like just ditches a character there are characters in the other books I don't know if I'm explaining it well but I think she's a really good read too so I hope you like my book picks I'm gonna try to do more of these try to do them every other week so talk to you later have a great day bye